Hmm. This is given the network. Okay. So if uh, these are the terminals, let A and B, right? Each uh, branch is having resistance R each. So what will be the effective resistance between A and B? Find R A B. So I suppose mark the junctions like let this is be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, right? Isn't it? So if you if you consider the line A B, A B is taken as the line of symmetry. If you write down about the about the line, about the line A B as symmetrical line, as line of symmetry, as line of symmetry, right? <coughs> there are there are few there are few equipotential points. There are few equipotential points. So among equipotential points, among equipotential points, can we write down potential of one equals to potential of two, potential of three equals to four equals to five, and potential of six equal to potential of seven? Then in this case, if we try to simplify, for example, starting from A, right? A to two equipotential point one and two, we can uh, we can connect them like this. So this will be the junction of one and two, right? Then from one and two. From one and two, sorry, from one and two, we do have connections to uh, three, four, five. How many connections are going? One, two, three, one, two, four, two, two, four, two, two, five. So total four connections. Yes or no? So that means there'll be four resistances that can be shown to be connected like this. Is it clear? So this is uh, taken to three, four, five. Then from the junction of three, four, five, uh, three, four, five, one, two, three. Four. Again, four connections going to six and seven. So this is going to six, seven, and then from six, seven, we are having two connections. We are having two connections taking it to the negative terminal B. So all the resistors are R each. All the resistors are R each. So now find the simplify this network and tell me what is the R effective you are getting. So answer is R A B equals to three R by two. 